Hey guys, this is Donnie with Tyler TX Directory. I've got a new heating and air conditioning story for you regarding uh, technicians in the HVAC industry. Uh, these are horror stories that I, I tell from time to time of some of the bad things that occur in the heating and air conditioning service industry. And this type of stuff happens um, when you hire a bad uh no reputation heating and air conditioning company in Tyler just a company that has no online reviews or any kind of um, testimonials or any kind of reputation or way to find out about them you're more likely to end up getting uh, a company that uh, just doesn't operate professionally as some of the other ones do and this story involves a heating technician that was hired on the job and there was a scheduling uh, problem that uh, they agreed to and in the service industry you often have to deal with scheduling issues and for instance like some homeowners would like to be home when the service technician is there so that they can just make sure they can see the job being performed and and there's a new person in their home and they just want to be there uh, to make sure nothing gets stolen and that they're on the up and up and everything. Well, this scheduling conflict was a little different because it involved a lady who had a baby. And so the heating technician um, agreed to go ahead and still perform the job even though the, there was a baby that the mother needed to uh, put down for naps throughout the day. And the heating repair job was going to mainly be done in the baby's room and so what ended up happening is the technicians had to drop everything they were doing every so often and pull all their tools out of the baby's room and go to another part of the house and work on uh, some other uh, small superficial thing until the baby's nap was finished and then they could go back and, and finish continue working on the job. Well this started to become a big hassle and what ended up happening is that there's a lot of uh, inefficient waste of time and frustration with these uh, technicians having to do this and uh, they would you know maybe misplace a tool going back and forth between rooms they would forget where they left off and different things like that so it just became probably something that they shouldn't have ever agreed to do in the first place the mother probably should have just left the baby in another room in a crib in another room or something like that. Well, what what happened is they, these technicians came back on a different day, and they just had really had enough of this, and they had to they wanted to crank this job out and get it done and over with and get out of there. Well, they went into the baby's room, and sure enough, there was the baby sleeping in the room. On um, the next day, they came over and they decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and do this now. This won't take very long. So they took a drop cloth and they put it over the baby's crib and they began to cut a hole in the ceiling. Well, drywall, drywall was coming off of the ceiling and landing on the drop cloth and some of it wasn't just landing on the drop cloth, they would hit the, the drop cloth and continue on and fall into the baby's crib. And they'd see that and they'd be like, oh, another uh, piece of uh, sheetrock is in the baby's bed and they'd grab it out real quick and put it in the trash can. And they felt, you know, this is no big deal. Uh, we'll be done soon, and and we'll just continue on like this. Uh, no harm. Well, the mother came in and was furious and saw uh, that they were cutting sheetrock right above the baby crib, the baby's crib, and there was a cloth completely covering the crib. And just the whole picture there was more than the mother really could take. So she threw those uh, technicians out and uh, long story short uh, what can you gain from this uh, story simply that when you're hiring a heating repair company you want to hire a company that is professional uh, that has a certain uh, process in place for uh, how they operate professionally in a customer's home um, that they hire professional people they do criminal back break background checks that these people have some type of etiquette and 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 um, longevity at that company just that the technicians that are coming into your home are going to treat you 
uh, with respect and honor your wishes. Now, should this mother have uh, scheduled baby naps throughout a job that was mainly going to be done in the baby's room? No, she shouldn't have. That I mean, that's kind of ridiculous when you could easily have the baby sleep in another room. Um, but should the HVAC company have agreed and overpromised to do the job uh, around the baby's naps? Definitely not. Obviously, they didn't want to do it, and it, and they probably didn't foresee all the problems and just how much time would be wasted in doing it this way. So I hope this story helps and just kind of helps you envision problems that can occur if you don't hire the right uh, heating repair company. And our recommended company today in Tyler, Texas uh, for your heating repair job is AirServe Heating and Air Conditioning. They are a professional company. They have online reviews. Um, they have a professional uh, process for conduct within uh, their customers homes and you can call their number and uh, schedule them to come out and service your uh, heating or air conditioning needs and uh, and they'll be happy to hear from you and I hope this uh, story helps in just kind of giving you a some of the possibilities that surround um, hiring the wrong uh, HVAC and heating service company uh, to come into your home to service your equipment. Thanks.